Good morning, good day, good whatever. I'm happy you are here and joining me today. Um, I thought it would be a fun time to just kind of sit down and talk a little bit about what I've been doing lately. I must say it's been a while since I've done anything or at least made a video or just showed off what I've been doing. I've been streaming a lot. I've also been quite busy. I'm doing an internship right now and that makes me teach for three days a week and the other two days I still go to school. I'm in my final year of my teaching year. That basically means that I'm studying to be an art teacher, finishing that. After this, I've done my four years of this study and then I can officially teach. So I look very forward to that. But I also must say that I've kind of been missing making videos or doing art for myself. So I wanted to start with this. I made this drawing, uh, it's kind of for Halloween, kind of spooky. I just wanted to create something that would be fun to look at or just be fun to create. I made this on stream, so if you're wondering why there are like emoticons floating by every now and then, that's because it's uh, from my stream video and I picked it here and I edited it together. The background itself is also a piece I've made uh, some time ago. It is actually in one of my art books if you want to check that out. My sketchbooks actually, not an art book. <laughs> I think uh, I have a lot of ideas that I want to do and I remember in my last YouTube video I said I can't wait to show more, more in the future, coming soon. And I proceeded not to do anything, so I did not forget, I just kind of did not do it. And I think that's quite human to just be busy with other things. I'm not gonna make the same promise, I'm just gonna every now and then just to record myself and see if I can make anything that fits the mood. I'm probably uploading this on Halloween, so happy Halloween for the people that celebrate that. And if not, happy 20, 30, 31st of August of 2020. <laughs> I've been making art, also doing school, also working on myself like most people, I think, especially the last one. And I've just been kind of trying to figure out who I am as a person. What do I want to create? I feel like a lot of the things that I've created were because I needed to create something and less because it needs to be me. So what I'm working on now is kind of figuring out what do I want to create and how can I move forward in the future? I have a lot of old video progress videos that I still need to upload and I like the idea that I can just talk and chat about my day or about what I've been doing lately. I just uh, find it quite difficult to find the words, but I still want to share them with you. With school I've been really struggling because it's the end of the year, or at least the end of the... How do you, it's not even the end, I take that back, it's not the end. It is uh, a progress part. So I'm in my final year, almost uh, still in the first half of this last year, but the motivation, if you can even call it that, has been quite far to reach, <laughs> to say it lightly. Uh, after the situation that kept us in our home for two years, I figured out that I really liked that. I liked working from home and I liked just having my own place and doing my own thing. But I also noticed that I found it difficult to go outside again. It was not only going outside, but it was also meeting with people or just noticing how I need to react with people. It did not really make me scared, but I did find it troubling that I couldn't really say what I felt in that moment. And I felt like people didn't understand or I didn't understand who I was at that, po at that moment. Now I feel like I know myself a little bit better, or at least I'm in the process of growth. I feel like I am maturing more as a person, but also figuring out like, hey, I do like the teaching. I had an internship before this one for about two months and I figured out mm, maybe it's not a thing for me. It was a different kind of uh, internship, but this one is way more for me. I feel way closer to my colleagues and they also take me seriously. And I feel like I can be myself when I'm teaching in front of the class. And it's also fun if I get uh, feedback from the people that I teach that I like the stuff. So that also goes straight to my heart and that's something I really appreciate. The other things that I've been working on are my different kind of mediums that I use. So if you look at traditional art or digital art, 
all those things are kind of things that I still want to continue working with. I've recently also gotten inspired. I went to the Dutch game day and at that place people could win an award. Award for the best game, best student game, best audio, all those things. And there were also some TED talks or like talks from people in the industry. I found them very inf informative and I also figured out like, hmm, that student award, that might be something fun to aim to. I still have it in the back of my mind that I want to do something with that. Uh, and I will take the final half year because the last year, the last half year of my study is basically make your own project, work on the things that you want to create, uh, figure it out, basically. <laughs> and I'm thinking I might need to make a game. I've already made a game before. Uh, it was a indie, no, not an indie. It was a 24, 20, 40, 48 hour game jam. There we go. And I figured out I want to do something like that again. I think it would be really fun to take the time and figure something like that out. If you want to know the game, it's called Start. <laughs> I will link it um, in the description. Yeah, in the description, so you can basically see it and play it for yourself. Only works on PC. Don't try to play it on your phone. Uh, but I figured out I might as well try to make a game about something. And I've the past couple of years I did make certain elements or certain art pieces, and they were re related to my family and my loss. And I'm thinking maybe doing that again. I do not know for certain if that is the way that I want to go, but we will see. I think it is a really pretty topic and it helps me convey and also work with that um, loss. And I think it would also be very nice to share that with people. Uh, I do not know what kind of style it will be or if it even will be a game. I did make some other interactive projects and maybe I will upload them on YouTube as well with a little explanation. Uh, at least with this video I felt really inspired. Because it has truly been a while since I've created anything with the video medium. And I feel like this mini podcast in a little speed paint video would be very fun for a few people. Maybe it's also fun to reintroduce myself. <laughs> because I feel I didn't do it at the beginning so I might as well do it now. Thank you for listening so far, by the way. Uh, for the people that don't know, my name is Zoe. Zoe. I do not even say my name that much. I am currently studying to be an art teacher. I'm in my last year of a four year study. I'm currently studying for two days and teaching for three days. Uh, but it's not really personal, is it? <laughs> I do like to create art. I also like to stream on Twitch every now and then. I also like to share my work. But I must say I've kind of lost making or creating for myself. So for now I really want to reclaim that, that, trying to get it back, trying to find my own words for the stories that I want to tell. I've been making a lot of portrait pieces, but I also like to make little stories. And with stories I like to make them quite kind of fake, maybe about me, maybe about the world. But it's been quite difficult because I remember sharing some of my written things. So some of my stories or some of my texts, texts. <laughs> and people were like, oh, you have a way with words. But if I look at my own words, I'm like, nah, I don't think that's something uh, that there's something in there. But I thought so. So maybe there will be a way of telling stuff. And also I'm using words right now, so it might be a good thing. What more? I'm currently 23 years old. Am I? I think so. Yeah, really with all the, the situations from the couple of years. I always forget. 2020. Yes. Yeah. No. Yes. 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 I will be 24. <laughs> I will be 24 at the end of this year. Um, <laughs> um, yes. Oh, maybe also fun to tell you what or who I am. I think what you also see on the end, I have a little mascot thing and it's called Shrimp Cat. And I think it's very cute. It basically is there when I don't want to show my face on stream. I just basically show off that little little thingy. And I think it's very cute. But other than that, it's just a little 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 friend that I made myself. Can also represent me, so it's very nice, like a two-in-one. But I, I guess that's what a 
what a mess called is about. <laughs> uh, what I also do, I create my own watercolors every now and then. So I created my own colors, you mix pigment together, you add binder and you mix it together on a piece of glass and a muller so you kind of crush the particles and make it all smooth and homogenous and you kind of make it your own paint and you put it in half pads. That's also been really fun. Um, I will tell you, you, uh, you guys one of my secrets or one of my insecurities. Because I started really thinking about what makes me weak, quote unquote, or what makes me feel so insecure about myself. Because when I teach or when I stream, it doesn't really come out that much, but it is in there. And then I think um, I have a really strong feel of being good enough for other people, but I always feel like I am okay with other people, but not about myself. I feel like I need to do more, even though if I look back at, uh, for example, just a normal day, I look back and I feel like I haven't done enough, even though I have done stuff. So that's sometimes quite difficult, but now I'm trying to work on that. And also what really felt good uh, to me was when I st uh, t was talking to someone and they told me, you can just, you can take longer with school if you need to. And that really felt such, a I felt such a relief. Uh, because I wanted to take a gap year last year and I still continued to uh, go to the final year but I felt so relieved that I could just know that even if I don't do as well even though I don't I am not perfect in my eyes even though I don't call myself perfect I still feel kind of struggled with that term that I wanted to be good but then for me a good might be a higher standard than other people uh but yeah <laughs> that's something i need to leave behind or at least try to do in the time frame um i also figured out that i'm not very good with deadlines or like i'm very good at deadlines but only when the deadline is very near and i'm almost there <laughs> and then i'm just like no oh okay okay finish it in one evening but we will figure that out together i will figure out a way how to really uh, work on that. <laughs> I haven't figured it out fully yet. Uh, what I also noticed is that I'm just a little person on this world and it's something to explore. What I still want to tell you, I think this will be a little story, is that um, what I figured out from streaming and also teaching is that uh, my best is when I kind of perform, quote unquote. It is not really performing in the sense that I'm on a theater, but it's in the sense that I do stuff and people watch over my back. That I just know, hey, someone is watching me do stuff and it makes me proud of what I'm doing or makes, uh, it doesn't make me nervous or at least teaching and uh, streaming doesn't make me feel that way. Uh, but when I, for example, need to do it to people that I already feel difficult with or people that I look up to or other things, it will get a little bit more difficult. But I feel like uh, when you're at school and you're teaching, you have your own little bubble and streaming is the same. Only people that like you will uh, stop by. <laughs> uh, but I also noticed that if I feel comfortable or if I'm in a place somewhere that is also close to my heart or is something that I'm interested or passionate about, I get way more extroverted. So it's very nice to see that all of a sudden I can do those things. And I am a pretty awesome person. Um, I think for this, uh, the rest of the year, I will take my time to grow a little bit farther, being a little bit more proud of myself as well. And also show off all the cool things that I'm making. I think that's that would be pretty neat if I can show that off. Uh, we're almost reaching the final part of this video. I think uh, what I want to tell you again is just have a, have a good time. If you create art, if you create it for social media or other stuff, don't forget to um, like what you're doing. Don't forget to see what it does with you if you create stuff. Does it calm you down or uh, make, do you make like a weird face? Do you make the same face if you uh, draw a character? Uh, what does happen to you? That's what I want to know. If you want to let me know in the comments, it's also fine. You can also just in your head be like, oh, why do I draw? Because the last time I sat down on my own and drew something, I was like, whoa, there were emotions and now they're on the paper. I kind of let loose and now they're there. And I think that's very, very nice to have that little moment. <laughs> um, 
for the final part I want to say thank you if you watched so far and you listened to me ramble I hope you uh, like this and if not that's also fine don't forget that uh, you can create whatever you want I hope you can create something that you're proud of or you can create something that makes you happy you can also create something that will make you sad or not as satisfied but no uh, if you stay to yourself I can draw just say to yourself I can't draw yet and if you can't do anything else just just change the words try to say yet every now and then try to say oh I can do it now but maybe I can do it tomorrow I do not say be positive every time you can reflect and do whatever you want but it might be fun to look at it every now and then you can find me on, uh, as Zoebu on social media, so if you have any questions or you just want to say hi, yeah, do that. <laughs> uh, yeah, have a nice, wonderful uh, morning, evening or midday, and maybe till another video. And if not, have a nice time. Bye-bye. <laughs>